Welcome back over here in the Blue Plain Kitchen now with Denise and Blue by Graves out with Land Run Winery. So she got a little bit of a head start on this segment. So a little bit. You feeling good? Feeling good. Uh, <laughs> so thanks for coming out tonight and bringing yeah, your you uh, samples with you. We appreciate it. Okay, so you guys are located in the Yukon area, right? Yukon, El Reno. Uh, there's some property out there that we have, and it's uh, the vineyard's actually out there. So it's, it's a start-to-finish product uh, here in Oklahoma. Very good. Love that. Okay, so uh, Janice tells me that the first one tastes awesome, so we want to have her taste a little bit more here. Just, yeah, let's get me drunk. Just to make the next <laughs> sex segment even that much more interesting. So what do we want to start with, Levi? This is a mistletoe. Uh, it is a sweet red wine, and it ha it's made with strawberries, uh, blueberries, and blackberries. Mistletoe. So that it's good for holidays, yeah? Absolutely. And this is a sweet red? It's, it's cold. A, it's a sweet red, yes. The uh, the sweeter wines usually are a little bit better uh, chilled. Uh, so That's it really chilled. good. It tastes like Christmas in a glass. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's exactly what it is. Vegas, maybe we should have you come sample. I was waiting, I was waiting for the invite. <laughs> I don't need a break. Stay over there. Well, we've got another glass. So this glass. Is good. So. Okay. So, yeah, we'll have him come do that. But you guys, we started with the sweet, and we're working our way working up to way a dryer, right? To the right? dryer, correct. Okay. Is that how you do it when you give samples out at it, the winery? It's kind of a personal preference. Uh, I like going sweet to dry. If you go the other way, the sweets are super, they taste super sweet. Yeah, they do. Uh, so it's just a matter of preference, but. Does this taste like uh, Christmas? Yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. Okay. This would be a good table wine, too. It's, yeah. It's exactly right. Okay, well, let's go here. Let's talk about this one. Sure. A lot of people are fans of red, so you have a white option. It is a, it's a sweet white. It's called sand bass, and it's um, a white cranberry. And it has a, the, the sweetness of the white wine, but it has a, uh, the tartness with the cranberry, which is, which so, is really good. It's probably my favorite as far as the white sweets go. So what would this be ideal to serve with, or when maybe? Something, uh, exactly, <laughs> so, something sweeter <laughs> or even with, with pasta that's a little bit creamy. Okay. Um, on, all, on the back of all of our bottles, we have what uh, they call the QR code. Uh -huh. So you can take your phone and actually scan it and it'll take you to our website, which is landrunwinery.com, and it'll give you a pairing of what tastes good with this wine. Oh, that's so... So that's it's, that's it's really that's good for nice. people that are just getting into it and don't quite know what to pair with what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can scan it uh, at their liquor store, and it will show them this what This one's like a, a cupcake in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a cupcake. I like it. Yeah, okay. I like that. Um, okay. Let's real quickly, let's talk about this one. We're about to Ocom Ocoma Rose here. is a... This is what I call the bridge or the building block between the sweets to the dries. Uh, this is good for the people that aren't quite ready for um, the, the super dries yet. Mm -hmm. This is a good crossover. It's a semi-sweet and it is a rosé wine. It's definitely more dry. Do you like it though? Is it I still like pretty it. good? Yeah. Has a lot of, it still has a lot of strawberries in it, so it's still, yeah. I mean, it, it still has a good flavor. But it's not It smells smart. great. No, it, it's not. Now, do yeah. you see that you sell more? Because I know personally, like in the summer, I like a cold white wine, mm -hmm. and in the winter, I like you know. That's exactly red. that's exactly how it works. That yes, way? it's exactly right. The uh, the summer times, the sweeter wines uh, usually sell better, and then in the winter times, the drier wines usually sell better. Cozy up by the fire with a nice little. How long are you uh, wines aged? Anywhere from about eight months to a couple several years. Okay. Uh, several of them are made in with uh, uh, we we age them in with oak. Uh, which this last one is a Chardonnay, and it's aged with oak. Wow. So I've actually yeah. seen some of the wines in liquor stores all over the place, and they're not, they're like under $12. Yeah, they're world. anywhere from probably $10 to $15 in the most expensive wine. Uh, so it, it's very reasonably priced. Uh, we're in about 44 different stores across the metro. Um, a full listing is at the website. Uh, and really, if you go to your favorite liquor store or even restaurant that does not have a wine, just ask them. They're, they're usually really good about trying to get whatever their customers want in. Good. Well, then, well, then get it. it. All right. Well, you can go see them. Again, they're out in the Yukon area. We'll have all their information on our website, ksbitv.com. And then they, of course, are landrunwinery.com. So thank you so much for bringing this. Feel free to leave a bottle for Janice. Don't Absolutely. You. <laughs> all right. We'll stay with us when we come back. We are talking about the best beauty tips. Uh, that moms, busy moms especially, can take advantage of in the morning. We've got Miss Daphne Brogdon standing by. There she is right there. Stay with us.